You're good. Come on in. Sure. Okay. Take it ASAP. Take it ASAP. Uh, yeah. privilege uh, for the Riding of Sault Ste. Marie to put their uh, trust in me once again and uh, you know we're going to uh, redouble our efforts continue to move this community forward and I want to thank my uh, my team as well it was a hard fought battle and uh, I want to compliment uh, the other candidates as well uh, we had uh, a great amount of volunteers contributed a lot of time uh, you know just some people are thinking about Smash, Richard, uh, Scott, Randy, Brenda Lots of people to mention, a lot of them are in there, and I see a whole bunch of other people here, including Keaton over there, Cody. How will it be different this time around, because it's a minority government? Well, one thing that I do is I always have had the ability, and I demonstrated that with my uh, precarious uh, work, uh, private members' motions, which received uh, unanimous support. And I have the ability to reach across aisles, I have the ability to work with all sorts of people to make sure that this community and this country continues to move forward. And looking at obviously this year, compared to years ago, how different was it for the election this time around? Um, this one was, uh, I've been involved in a lot of uh, elections uh, locally. Uh, this one was hard fought. Um, it, was, it was different. Um, I think we need to really work on building and mending some of the fences uh, that might have been uh, uh, you know, hurt because it, it was such a hard-fought campaign. There was uh, some negativity, uh, and I know the people in the Sioux and Area do not like that. Uh, we kept it uh, really above board here uh, locally, and I was proud to, to do that. And uh, I want to compliment the other candidates for doing that. Have you heard No, I have not. I have just walked in right now, so... Uh, you know, I, I look forward to uh, chatting with, with, with all of them. Who was the most challenging part of this particular election campaign? Well, the challenging part, well, I think it's, it's always the, uh, uh, just make, maintaining and keeping up that energy. You know that I love to take it to the ground. I'm on every street, every corner of this ride, making sure that I listen and, and, and learn and also uh, have that peace. So it was a great uh, family. Lisa, Riley, and Kate, who uh, now is in, uh, uh, back in Ottawa in school. I mean, they were totally devoted. All of my family, all of my friends, all of my volunteers. Uh, it was amazing. Like, morning, noon, and night contributions of these volunteers. It just makes me want to work a little harder. 
you know, whatever they give, I want to get twice as much. And they were amazing. Did you ever question tonight's results? I mean, Sonny was a very good candidate for the Conservatives, and um, uh, you know, put your feet to the fire. You know, he was, and so was Sarah. And I was very impressed with both of them, and, uh, and including uh, uh, Amy and as well as Gio. Um, you know, we did probably around the 11 uh, candidate forums, and um, you know, I, I think that uh, they should all be called for those. And the people around them should be called for uh, put it forward. And I do believe in democracy. Democracy is the best, the very best system that we have in the world. And it's about putting ideas on the table, discussing them, agreeing, disagreeing, but you come to a new meaning, a new understanding after it's all done. So I'm going to learn, I've learned a lot, I'm going to take that to Ottawa, I'm going to take it here to Sault Ste. Marie, we're going to continue to protect the steel industry, we're going to continue to green up our economy, and uh, we're going to continue to work for families and seniors. And it was a lot closer both this time, only 2000, compared to last time. What does yeah. the message that send to you that you didn't win as big as you did last time? Uh, you know, each and every election, I've won by huge margins, but I've also won by small margins. That's why each and every single vote matters, and that's when, you know, even today, we're holding your vote, not the only word, and telling people, you need your vote, you need your vote. Um, it's the most powerful tool that any individual has in this country, and uh, I'm just so proud that we were able to, uh, to win uh, once again here in, in the riding, and it, it just reconfirms my vote. Does work start tomorrow, or do you take the foot off the gas pedal and drive your Never, day? because you know what, I'll tell you one thing. I am the incumbent MP, and I'll tell you what, the people have been absolutely great in this community and area. They knew that I had to, you know, get dissolved as an MP, and, uh, yes, you know, you, you have those conversations. We have quarter of a billion dollars in investments made over the last four, four and a half years, but there's a number of projects that we still have on offer that, you know, we got to start working on tomorrow. I might sleep in a little bit, maybe I'll get up at 8 a.m. instead of, you know, earlier, but the reality is, you know, we're going to just, and the great thing about being an incumbent is um, I can hit the ground running. Okay. And last year, or four years ago, Go obviously was then as for Steel. What's the main goal for you in the next four years? What do you think is the big series? We're not in the woods with the steel industry yet. You know, we still have to make sure that we continue uh, to stabilize and grow that steel industry. About thirty six million dollars in investments in Boma and Tenaris. We need to make sure that oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, fruition. Uh, markets uh, come and go, they come uh, up and down. So one of the things that we need to do is to make sure that we secure ourselves going forward, diversify economy. But we also have to build up our small and medium sized enterprises and also work on improving and growing our green economy here locally. Uh, you know, it's about benefiting families, it's about benefiting seniors, and yes, I can tell you that I have the energy and the experience of continue to keep producing results and fighting for our fair share in Sault Ste. Marie. This was a weird election in the sense that none of the leaders came to town. Um, why didn't uh, your leader, why didn't just leave? I'll be quite honest, uh, we came and uh, just a short few months ago. This is fourth time coming to Sault Ste. Marie. That. He hasn't visited all risings in this country in 338 years. And, and, and uh, when I jumped in the car with him and we went around, uh, I, I knew we had a conversation with my friend. And he said, Jerry, he said, uh, this is your visit. Uh, you know, we'll get him. And uh, so he's been supportive. Uh, the PMO's office has had our back. He's had our back. And he'll continue to do so. And we're going to keep. Uh, and uh, you know, the steel industry is a perfect example of how strong he is and how respected he is in this world. And uh, Canada is just going to grow exponentially. Quarter to 11, it looks like the Liberals are 13 or 11 seats right now short of a majority. Mm -hmm. How disappointing is it that it's not a majority? Well, I can tell you what, you know, uh, we're just going to keep uh, working together. Uh, I have that ability to do that, and uh, you know, I can contribute uh, in extremely meaningful ways. Uh, I'm the co chair of the All Party Steel Conference. Uh, I'm very good at my committee work on economic development committee for me, and I'll just keep doing that. And I'm committed to doing that, and I believe that the people that are elected uh, are going to want to get down to business, and that's what I'm all about. So let's keep Canadians first. and. Uh, uh, you know, let's not worry about all that politics stuff right now, because the people expect us to get down to business right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.